Well, hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the all new uh, Pro City waterproof tank bag from SW Motex. So if you're in the market for a waterproof tank bag, stick around, let's check it out. Now, for you frequent followers of the channel will know that I've been using Nestor Munitex gear for about 10 years now, and they brought out their Pro Tank Bag range, I think end of 2020, start of 2021, I believe. This is the Pro City um, Tank Bag, which I, which is one of my favorites, my go-to tank bag for touring. Now, these are water resistant, but it does come with a waterproof um, rain cover. If you do get stuck out in a damp pour, you can put that over the top. That is sufficient for me, but a lot of you have expressed a great interest for fully waterproof tank bags. SW Motec listened and brought out their uh, Pro City waterproof tank bag. Now this is fully waterproof, fairly similar in sort of design and shape to the Pro City, the normal sort of non-waterproof version. Comes with the Moller patch on the top as per usual on their Pro range. You've got two side pouches on the side. This will give you nine, uh, nine liters of volume. Now, as the name states, this one is fully waterproof, which means anywhere where um, you'd normally have stitching, where fabrics come together, these are actual rubber or plastic welded, um, so which this makes this thing fully 100% waterproof. Two outside pouches like you'd have on the, other, on the other tank bag, which are sort of waterproof. I wouldn't say they're fully waterproof. Waterproof zips on the side of them, but just for your sort of small belongings for bits and bobs. Magnetic clasp on the front, which opens up um, the tank bag itself. And in here again, you've got a waterproof case for if you want to put some maps or paperwork or whatever you want to put in there, you can do that as well. Opened up into the size of the tank bag, or inside of the tank bag, you've got a divider at the front here, which you can adjust further or sort of to the rear or to the front, depends on what you want to be, uh, um, put it inside the tank bag. You've got a few rubber straps inside just to sort of hold uh, your belongings um, in place. And you've got the base plate, which we'll go through in a second, um, which will attach it to the bike. Nice light fabric that they use inside of this one, which, which helps in low light. It does help um, quite a bit to, so you can see your belongings inside. If this was a black fabric inside, it's a bit more difficult to see your belongings. So that's quite a nice touch. Little zip on the front there on the, um, on the divider, so you can put uh, whatever you want to in there, a bit of paperwork. Um, sky is the limit. This lid then closes, zips again with a waterproof zip, and close and attach the magnet on the front of the clasp. Does come with a Moller patch on top, as I previously stated, so you can um, attach the SW Motec phone case on top of here. The iPad and map case can go on top of here, and you can put um, some sm smaller accessories on top, smaller bags if you so wanted to. Carry handle to the rear and your release cable, again, we'll show you that in a second, which releases the um, base plate from your bike. And on the bottom here, you've got the mount for the base plate, high level of adjustability on this one, but again, we'll go through that in a second. Slightly different on the Pro Tank Bag range, either the waterproof version or the normal Pro version from their previous Evo models, where you'd have to drill through the bottom of here. There is a high level of adjustability on these, it's very easy to use, but if you want to check out the comparison to their previous Evo tank range, to the Pro Tank Bag ranges, then I'll stick a link um, to that video in the top of the corner. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the SW Motex um, tank bags, how they actually attach to the bike, they attach via this um, bike specific tank ring here. Basically you order these and this will attach to your bike filler cap on your fuel uh, filler cap, which we'll go through again in a second, I'll show you over on the bike. This um, screws into the top of the filler cap and that then connects to the bottom of the base plate, which is obviously attached to the bottom of the uh, tank bag. So we'll, we'll go over onto the bike and just check that out. So this ring itself here comes in two parts. I've already got one installed on the bike, but just to show you here, it comes in two parts, an upper part and a lower part. This upper part is what um, physically connects the um, tank bag to the bike. It's got four magnets on the inside of here, one, two, three, four, and the same again on the base plate, which I'll show you again once we install that, which just helps the tank bag glide it into position. The, the physical connection or the connection to the tank bag and the bike is still physical, but the magnets just help it glide into position. Also comes with this lower part here, which actually physically um, connects to the bike. So you just remove four screws on your filler cap, attach this lower part um, first, and then you screw the, um, the top ring in position, S snug that all up nice and tight, and you are good to go. So inside the base plate package is the base plate itself, which connects to the tank bag. We'll go through that again in a second. 
some instructions and a little allen key and some screws to hold it in position. So as I told you about the, the four magnets on the, uh, on the connection ring at the top, you've got four magnets inside um, the base plate itself. So basically once you attach your, um, your tank bag to the bike via the ring, these magnets just glide it in posi into position. It's still a physical connection, but it just helps to ease your um, tank bag into position. So all we need to do to install the base plate, it's very easy, is house it in the locating positions or the locating bolts at the bottom of the tank bag. And you can see the level of adjustability you've got to move the tank bag forward and back, depends on your shape of tank. Four screws. Now it's best to do these sort of up hand tie at first, just so you can take it over to the bike check its position and then once you've got the position right which we'll look into in a second then you can uh, fully tighten the screws down and then you are good to go probably too tight and back these up slightly just so you can still move the base plate with your hand just so we can test and adjust the position so let's do that now now before you go over onto your bike and test and adjust the position, you do have to ensure you've installed this release cord um, into the front of the base plate. There's a little loop on the, uh, on the base plate which you push this through. So when you pull down on this cord, it releases the mechanism, so it releases the tank bag from the filler cap. So if you forget to put this cord on while you're testing and adjusting the position, you'll have a bit of a nightmare trying to release the tank bag from the bike. So now all you need to do is to attach it to the bike. So once it's on the bike, it's here, then you can sort of test and adjust the position forward or back to the to your particular machine, whether your tank drops off at the front. You need to ensure obviously your handlebars still have full range of movement. So on the S1000XR, it's sort of fully, it's pretty much nearly fully forward is the best position to have. So once you've got the position the way you want it to, just remove it from the bike. You can then go ahead and fully tighten down the four screws. So that was a quick look at and install of the Pro City waterproof tank bag from SW Motec. They do do this in a size small, I believe it's called the uh, Pro Yukon uh, waterproof tank bag, which is kind of more sort of for your day trips. This is more sort of for heavy touring. But if you are interested and you're looking to get a waterproof tank bag, links to SW Motec's website will be in the description below. But that is all for this week, so I shall see you in the next one. I've been Sean, see you out there, take it easy.